Welcome to BIMS TV. I'm Takia Payton, and this is BIMS Bites Kids. And today I'll be biting into mangrove habitats. Now, before I give you too much information, I want you to think about being in the tropics, getting on a boat, and driving down a waterway. In this case, a canal. And if you look to your left and your right, you'll see all of this vegetation or trees. These trees are called mangroves. Mangroves are located all over the world, specifically in the hot tropical climates, uh, and they're usually associated with coral reef environments. But what are mangroves? Well, mangroves, as I mentioned, are usually in those tropical areas. Uh, they're usually associated with a coral reef environment. And you'll notice that the long tree system, the long roots of these mangroves help serve a lot of purposes. For one, it prevents pollution from running off the land into the water. And on the flip side of that, it prevents a lot of wave action or those heavy waves from hitting the land and eroding the surface. Mangroves have a lot of cool features. They differ in species and they also differ in their roots system. They could be have buttress roots, pencil roots, uh, knee roots, or even prop roots. And all these roots help stabilize that tree or anchor it into the soil. You'll also notice that they mostly have green leaves, but they can also have yellow ones. These yellow leaves are able to store salt. These seed pods uh, will grow nice and long. They'll get a bit heavy and then they'll drop from the trees. Once they drop from the trees, they float in the water column, uh, mainly at the surface, until they can find an area in which they want to lay their roots, and then they grow a whole new tree. Now, these roots are super important. With mangroves, that top picture, you'll notice that when a storm comes in, a hurricane or a tropical storm, those mangroves prevent damage on land. But without those mangroves, those water, that water can seep into the land, seep onto shore and ruin trees, houses, boats, et cetera. If you look under the surface, there's a whole other community that's growing and thriving there. It could be fishes of all different species, a bunch of invertebrates or animals without a backbone. And this community thrives. Now, unfortunately, mangroves are beginning to die. Now, the rate has decreased just a little bit. However, they're being infected by diseases, insects, climate change, and pollution. And they're also getting affected by sea level rise. Now, what can we do to help? Or what can you do? Well, a lot of people are starting to restore mangrove habitats. They've learned that they can grow these mangroves in other places, in pots and nurseries, and then go out into the, into the ocean or into the waterways and plant these trees. These trees then grow nice and strong so that they can provide that coastal protection again and provide a nice ecosystem for a community of organisms. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, feel free to contact me if you have any questions. My email is tpayton at clemson.edu. And my Instagram handle is at marine litter critter. Again, thanks for tuning in. Please follow, like, and subscribe.